This is our open bear of the Nigerian and other markets across the African continent. Welcome to the show. I am Boston Amofaye. This is your Frontier Alchemy Bell here on Frontier Africa Reports. Let's get the show started. On the market side, the Nigerian boss uh, bought the Wednesday's trend and fell back by 0.02%. On Thursday, on the day Nigeria announced the, uh, the 1.25 billion US dollars in fresh euro bond, the first on the African continent uh, in the uh, new year, even just coming just a day after the US Federal Reserve uh, raised uh, a repo rate, Fed fund rate, by uh, 0.25 percent. So the Nigerian stocks uh, declined by just uh, two basis points. 23 basis points, much bigger. Next door in Abidjan with the, on the BRVM, while the Egyptian market went up by nearly 20 basis points. On Thursday, the uh, Kenya market fell very sh- uh, nearly 1 percent, and the GSE better by 0.87 percent. You've been brave. That's just a summary. Of, of five of the uh, markets on the African continent across northwest, east, and the southern space. In, in East Africa, the World Bank has uh, okayed $750 million US dollars to boost uh, Kenya's economic recovery. The IMF is also talking uh, to the Kenyan authorities, by the way. And KCB, one of the largest commercial banking group, reporting for 2021 on the Nairobi Bulls, profit of 34 billion shillings. That's roughly 74%. And the bank is tripling its dividend payment to 9.64 billion local currencies. Cooperative Bank also reported in the, within the last 48 hours, profit after tax went up by 62, 52 basis points. That roughly 16.5 billion shillings because of strong lending that was done in 2021, despite the pandemic or uh, the virus and then acquisition that were made by Cooperative Bank expanding is a footprint uh, within Kenya and within the region. Strong franchise uh, cooperative bank does have. The uh, Kenya Airways problems are not over yet. The promised 20 billion shillings in bailout is yet to be received. So the airline, the Embattled the airline, is beginning to cut salaries once again. And the Bank of Uganda has warned that the country's uh, dollar inflows will likely be impacted because of the expulsion or withdrawal of uh, Uganda, one of the world's largest uh, coffee producers from the International Coffee Organization, due to disputes on pricing. So back to that Nigerian story, with the $1.25 billion announced yesterday evening by the Data Management Office, praising the turmoil across the global markets and going straight to the global DCM for this offering. Last October, Nigeria went to the global debt market with $4 billion US dollars to support its fiscal deficit or fiscal balance, uh, pay down on existing obligations, support the Naira, as well as uh, some funding for critical projects. Yesterday, the debt management office also announced that the country's total public debt is now about uh, uh, 14 uh, trillion uh, local uh, currency. So keep, keep that in, in mind. The African Investment Forum has uh, now been closed, formally closed yesterday evening. The head of the EFDB, uh, the, the president of the EFDB, Dr. Kumi Adishina, who is also the head of the AIF, announced that total transactions or deal uh, consummated were north of $32.8 billion, about $15 billion of that going to the uh, Lagos uh, uh, Abidjan uh, Transport uh, Corridor, which is the biggest of all the deals made. That accounts for about half of the total uh, transactions that were consummated over the la- over the three-day period, Tuesday to Thursday. The FDB also announced a fresh 500 million US dollars in funding to support women-led businesses or women-focused businesses on the African continent. In the meantime, the Bank of Ghana will today conclude its three-day monetary policy meeting with expect a formal announcement of where interest rate will go over the next hours and on to the weekend. But the BOG says it's given an approval or adoption of a retail token-based digital currency after Nigeria next door floated in Naira a uh, few months uh, towards the end of last year. And the Côte d'Ivoire is setting aside about 72 billion CFA franc for the country's transport sector. And the IMF has told Cameroon, just east part of Nigeria across the border to withdraw its uh, shareholdings in Union Bank of Cameroon and NFC Bank, allow those two banks to run as commercial entities. That's an advice, by the way, from the uh, World Bank to the Cameroonian authorities. 
okay, this is Southern Africa, where the Russian war in the Ukraine is causing global fund managers to pile up cash, focus more on cash, because their outlook on the global economic growth is negative. That's a news coming through from CityWire in South Africa. And the country's uh, consumer confidence uh, weakened to a negative 13 basis points in 2022, first quarter, while the South Africa Reserve Bank or the Central Bank is expected to uh, hike repo rates or headline interest rate or the benchmark interest rate about 4.25% when it meets uh, on the 24th. That's later next week. And Botswana is looking to the United Arab Emirates as a window of opportunities to engage more and boost its economic relations with the rest of the Middle East. Uh, second, Africa's largest oil producer, Angola, uh, saw its wholesale price index up about 31.18% in February. That's quite red hot. Okay, let's uh, sum it up uh, with uh, uh, North Africa. The Central Bank of Egypt is asking the Arab banks to pump more funds or financing into small and medium enterprises as well as uh, emerging markets uh, across uh, Africa. While the EGX, which is the Egyptian exchange, is looking uh, to be part of the uh, master life insurance uh, flotation of additional 25% stake in the month of October. PepsiCo of Egypt says it's invested about $5 million in technical infrastructure for last year, reporting for the uh, year just uh, behind us. Uh, and Fitch rating says it's likely that the Egypt Central Bank will raise rates, and exchange rates will decline, and the IMF will be uh, looking at a program with uh, Cairo this year. The, the news is already out up there uh, on Bloomberg and other international news channels that the IMF is opening the door of conversation uh, with Egypt, with President Al Sisi's administration on funding support. And Tunisia and Libya are having consultations uh, in order to raise trade relations or trade exchange between the two northern African countries is uh, a very good way to go. Libya is trying to uh, walk its way out of the years of uh, crisis following the ouster of uh, former uh, head of state, uh, Muammar Gaddafi, that was way back in 2011. Okay, that's about where we rested today on our Frontier Opening Bell. Everyone. It's a Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And of course, let's get back together on Monday here on the show. I am Boston Namafaye. Go on our social media. You'll find the show on LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram. You can visit our YouTube. You can watch the show again, as well as other shows we have at Frontier Africa Reports. And our website is there. We'll be glad you visit and read up our stories at www.frontierafricareports.com. Enjoy your weekend, everyone. Bye for now.